Hello, Helen Martin here from HelenMartinOnline.com. How are you today? For those of you in the home-based business, are you frustrated with your lack of progress with your business? If that's you, then I'm here to talk to you today about three tips that can help maybe, um, you know, help you move forward. Firstly, for those of you that are on live with me or even on the replay, if you've not connected with me before, not been on a live with me before, please put the number one down below and tell me where you're coming in from. I love to connect with new people and say hello after the, uh, the live. Um, now, predominantly what I do is help home-based business owners bring their business online. So I help people with things like social media branding, lead generation, video marketing, and most importantly, mindset. Um, people really underestimate the value of mindset in their business. And what I'm talking about today with, if you're frustrated with a lack of progress in your business, it might have a lot to do with not actually your business, but you and how you work your business or how you don't work your business or how you think about the business or how you move forward or don't move forward with your with your business i hope you can see me okay guys the light looks really dull um so yeah someone could let me know if you can see me all right um yeah the light's pretty dull here but i hope you can see me okay so um number one um, so three tips to help you sort of move forward in your home-based business and th some things that might be holding you back. So number one is, um, it might seem logical, but stick with me here. Do you take your home-based business seriously? Seriously. <laughs> Do you take your home-based business seriously? So, I, you know, a lot of people will say to me, um, oh, Helen, I'm not getting any sales or no one's joining my team or I'm, I'm not getting any progress or I've just started to go online and I can't connect with people or they won't engage with me or I'm not having any traction. Um, what I often find with people in a home-based business is they come in and out of their business. So a lot of people in the home-based business, they have other jobs, they have other commitments, they have other things that they do. So you've got to try to work that in and out of other things that you do, but often it takes a back seat. So my point here is if you want your business to pay you like a business, if you really want more customers in your business, if you really want more people to join your team in your business, then treat it like a business. Have a system, have a method of operation, do things daily, weekly, have it mapped out so you're always working in your business. If you come in and out because of other priorities get in the way and you don't have a system that keeps you on track, then you're not really taking your business seriously. So I'll say it again, if you want other people to take your business seriously, if you want other people to dive deep in their pockets and buy your products, join your business, connect with you online, um, you really need to treat your business more seriously because if you don't treat your business seriously, how do you expect other people to? I'm not trying to offend anybody here and definitely in the home based business we have a lot of other commitments and generally people have you know other full time jobs or part time jobs I'm sorry if the lights really dull here it looks really dull from my end but hopefully you can still see me okay um yeah, you need to put that effort into your business to get other people to take your business seriously. You really need to take it seriously first. So it is easy with a home-based business to come in and out of it, to think, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I won't do any prospecting today or I'll do that thing tomorrow. I'm really tired because you worked your day job, you get home at night and you just can't be bothered. So I'll say it again, a third time, if you want other people to take your business seriously, if you want other people to dive deep in their pockets and buy your products, buy your services or go into business with you, you need to take it seriously first. So that is number one, get more serious about your business. Number two, they say that um, the value that we gain is the value that we have in the marketplace. So if you want more customers, if you want more people to go into business with you, become more valuable. 
So, um, you know, give more value to people. Give more free advice out. Get, let people um, see what you're worth. When you are seen as being valuable, people will pay. When you are giving heaps of value out to the marketplace for free, you're not expecting to be paid. And I'm not saying you need to work for free, but I hope you get my drift here. You will get paid for your value in the marketplace. If at the moment you are getting paid nothing, no one's buying your products, no one's joining your business, you're not being valuable enough. Think of that as online. If you're trying to take your business online, how valuable are you? What kind of training are you giving to people? What are you helping people with? So you will be worth what value you give. So if you're not getting paid as much as you would like to at this very point in time, then become more valuable to the marketplace. What things can you do? do to become more valuable. The more people look up to you, the more of an authority you are seen, the more value you give to the marketplace, the more money you will get paid. Now, the third thing, how much are you investing in your business? So by investing, I not only mean, um, you know, it may not be money, it may be um, time or it may be you're investing in mentorship. So it could be any one of those things. But let me point out the difference here. You go to school, you get taught by teachers to learn. You might go to college or university, some sort of higher education, and you've got lecturers, you know, people that are still teaching you to learn what you need to learn. Then you go out in the big wide world and you might get a job. So you've got a boss or someone that's teaching you, keeping you on track, um, you know, helping you move through your job and making sure you're doing what you're doing. Then somebody gets brave enough to go into a home-based business. Where's the mentorship then? Where's the learning then? People go into this track of business and they don't invest in any more learning. They don't invest in any more mentorship. So how are you going to grow? How are you going to get to where you want to go with no one guiding you? Everybody needs a mentor. Everybody. The six, seven million dollar figure earners that I learned from LA just recently, they all still have mentors. So what are you investing in to grow your business? So get, let me give an example of those of you in the home-based business, if you are just purely offline, you're not doing anything online yet, are you plugged in? Are you really invested in your business? Are you on team calls? Are you going to meetings? Are you turning up to events? Are you investing in going um, to events? Are you doing any personal development? Are you doing any learning? Are you plugged in to the system of your home-based business? If you're not plugged in, you're not on Zoom calls, you're not on team calls, you're not going to meetings, you're not going to events, how can you expect your business to grow? How can you expect you to grow? So you've got to be invested in your business for your business to work. So if you're frustrated with your lack of progress in your business, get invested in your business. So one, you're taking it seriously. Um, you know, two, you're becoming more valuable to the marketplace that you want to become valuable to. And number three, invest in yourself in your business. Now for me, I want to tell you what's worked for me and what's continuing to work now is I came across some free training because I didn't want to do my business offline anymore. It wasn't working for me. Yes, I had some success, but a lot of the people that were in my business didn't stay in the business. So when you've exhausted your warm market and the people don't stay in your business that you've recruited, then how do you grow your business? So that's what took me online. So I came across some free training which taught me about attraction marketing. Beautiful. How do I attract people to me instead of chasing my family and friends? That's what I want to know. Now that led me to a system. Now I invested a very small amount of money into um, you know, the formula to go online, to have all my ducks in a row, to um, know what to do online. 
But then I invested even further in, um, you know, mentorship and training. And then I went to um, Las Vegas and then I recently went to L.A. and I've invested in more mentorship. So a lot of the money that I'm making, I'm investing back in my learning and mentorship to help me grow. I cannot do this alone. And I would um, encourage you to think about where you're at at the moment. Can you grow on your own? Where do you need to invest in yourself, time being plugged into your business or even investment, find the money um, to invest in yourself, invest in mentorship. The mentorship that I get now keeps me on track. I have weekly webinars that I can get the technical support. I have monthly calls that keeps me on track and I know exactly what I need to do from week to week to month to month to keep myself on track and grow. Can you say that? Do you know exactly what you need to do on a daily basis to keep your business growing? Do you know exactly what you need to do on a monthly basis to keep you growing? If you don't know what that is, if you don't know what your daily method of operation is, you need to find a community, a community of people, of like-minded people to help you with that. You need to find a mentor or a group of mentors. Seek someone out. Ask for some help to keep you on track and get yourself systemized. In a home-based business, what's going to save your business is one, taking it seriously. Um, the two, uh, what was number two? Being more valuable. So learning, learning, always learning, personal development. How can you become more valuable to your marketplace? And three, investing in your business. Now that'd be more, more time, more time in learning. It might be a few dollars. If you can't afford it, find a way. Sometimes you have to spend money to make money. I find it interesting that people will not invest just, you know, 20 or 30 dollars in a resource that might give them the stepping stone to the next level, to grow, to find the system to go online. If you really want to make it in a home-based business, you need to invest in yourself and look for some mentorship, whether that is free or paid. Okay, now I'm going to put a link up above to a resource that I started with um, that um, gave me the formula to go online. If that's something that you can think can help you, please take advantage of it. If it's not, that's fine. It's completely up to you. You need to find what's right for you to move forward in your business. I hope that's helpful in some way to you. I don't mean to be harsh. I don't mean to be too strong. But a lot of people in the home-based business complain that they're frustrated with their lack of progress. So really have a good check as to how you might be able to propel your progress. So really take your business seriously. Invest in some learning and some training to become more valuable into your marketplace and really get plugged in, whether that's offline or online. Plug yourself into the systems that are available to you, free or paid, to keep yourself on, on track, to set some goals and ultimately have a daily method of operation to keep you on track. When you stay on track, you'll grow. There'll always be the ups and downs, but you need that daily method of operation and knowing what you're doing all the time. And why I'm reiterating this to you, because it's not until I've become systemized and I am accountable. So I have monthly check-in calls with my mentors and it's like, and every month it's like, right, Helen, what are we working on for the next month? And I am accountable to that. And do you think it makes me make sure I do those things? <laughs> Absolutely. But if I didn't have that mentorship, if I didn't know that I was having that monthly sort of check-in call, then, you know, maybe I wouldn't be so dedicated. But having that guidance and having that mentorship and knowing exactly what I'm doing from day to day to week to week, that's what makes a massive difference to your success. So I encourage you um, to do all of those things and um, stop being frustrated with the progress in your business and make that progress happen so you can move forward to have a more successful business. If you want to know the community that I'm plugged into, if you want to know the system that I'm plugged into. If you just want to chat with me, um, you know, reach out and ask some questions.
questions, send me a, a message via Messenger. I'm here to help you progress in your business. So if you need some support, just reach out and ask. It's as simple as that. And that could help you progress in your business. So thank you again um, you know, for being here. I really appreciate you listening. I hope you can see me properly because I know the light is not particularly good here. But um, I appreciate you being here. And my next Facebook Live in two days' time, I promised you last week that I was going to talk about um, what happened when I was in LA while I was locked away in a workshop for three days um, and not concentrating on my business, I made thousands of dollars. So I thought you might, it might be valuable to, to you for me to share how was I able to do that? How was I able to make thousands of dollars when I wasn't even working on my business at the time? I was locked away in a workshop. So stay tuned, two days time, similar time to now, I will share that with you. So until then, I'll see you then. Bye.